I'm Della Golding and I'm a zoologist passionate about conservation. I grew up in the Australian outback with snakes and spiders and you name it, I've seen it all. Feel my work. I was even once scouted by an American bald eagle, but you know, it hasn't put me off. I still love animals. The, the, the biggest question people always ask, does it bite? Today, I'm getting to grips with a variety of animals at Paradise Wildlife Park in Hertfordshire. The role of zoos are now changing. They're moving into the 21st century. No longer are they living museums, they are now resource centres that support ecosystems and species as a whole. I think you're enjoying this too much. I'm not a fluffy bunny hugger, but give me a snake and I'm like, oh! You might spit, but you come in use for something, don't you? Well, as you can see, she doesn't want to come out, she's a little bit shy. But if you look at the size of her, well, I, I don't think I want to go in there and provoke her. But if you'd like to get her out, when she's settled in, mind you, just tip her up and just tap her gently on the abdomen. With Rocky here, you've worked with him for such a long period of time, yeah. but um, you know, you'd know more than any people. You can't just go wandering in with him. He is still oh, a wild animal. Absolutely. As the world's possibly first exotic pet chef, <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make a di um, your diet for your lizard. Now, I usually give them just a pinch of fish food. So first of all, have a bit of a think. Are you a hands-on person or are you a bit more of an ornamental person? So in other words, do you want a lizard that you can handle, like these bearded dragons here? Or would you like to have one you just observe, a bit like a fish? You, know, you wouldn't go into the fish tank, would you, and pull out your fish to have a look at it all the time? <laughs> Lizards are much the same. Getting hands-on with animals is really important. It's so we can learn as much about them as we can. Look at his teeth and you see the sheer size of them so we can get them back into their environment before it's too late. And the first time that I ever fed a crocodile and he came at me and his mouth was wide open and, he, um, and I could just see into his jaws and I tell you what, that was just the something that got me for the rest of my life, the sheer adrenaline and the sheer power but the sheer passion behind animals. It's just absolutely incredible. 